Hi everyone, this is Ivan from Imitated Environments and I'm going to run you through an example of how to use the scenario editor in Pharmacy Simulator today. So to get started, all we need to do is go to the Edit Scenario menu and hit this Create New Scenario button. And today I'm just going to make a really basic uh, Xmas scenario just to show you the sorts of things you can do, how easy it is to get started. First thing it does is prompt you to put an actor in the scene. Uh, scenarios aren't much good without any actors. So let's do that now. So it's added patient one and it puts us in this menu here which allows us to edit the patient straight away. A few things I'll point out while we're here. Uh, these little information buttons, we can click them at any time and it will take us to uh, a website which has the instruction manual for that page. Uh, we can find out anything we need to find out. At the same time, if you hover over any of the field labels, it will give you some information about that field. Alright, so we've added this, this actor. Let's give him a name. Let's uh, check his parameters there. Looks okay. And if we do save and preview, we've got this guy. He turns up. We can't talk to him at the moment because we haven't added any dialogue options. Um, but we can start adding dialogue options straight away. And we can see there that he moved to the dispensary after zero seconds. So that's the default um, starting movement for them. Now, there's a couple of different ways we can go to edit dialogue. We can click on him and then click this add button here to add a dialogue option. So, a basic one. I'm playing the pharmacist on duty. How can I help you? So this is a nice, polite and professional induction, uh, introduction. So we'll give them a point for using that one and we'll put that in the intro group. So by putting a dialogue option in a group, you make it uh, mutually exclusive. So if you want to have two or three dialogue options that are fundamentally the same, where it only makes sense to use one of those options, then you put them in a group like this. Uh, let's give him a response. Hi, my doctor gave, gave me this new prescription. Uh, let's give him a little bit of an animation, hand gesture and a smile. And let's make him a little bit happier because we are nice and polite. Um, let's make a second dialogue option, which is the same sort of thing, but less professional. Uh, what can I do you for? Uh, what can I do for you? And in the same group, intro, and the feedback to the player should be more professional. To introduce yourself as the pharmacist, uh, much the same response from the patient. But maybe we don't have the happiness because you weren't so polite. Now straight away they become available um, and we can see what they do. And you can see when I used one, the other one went away because they were sent in that same group. So they're mutually exclusive. Um, we can use these shortcut buttons here to go straight to edit the response or straight to edit the dialogue option. Um, or again, we can add more. Um, but we would have noticed there that he said that there was a new prescription, but he didn't actually give us a new prescription. That's because we haven't made the prescription yet. So let's do that now. If we go into the edit menu, we can edit prescription data. We can add a new prescription. He's got a new prescription for Aristocort, probably three times a day, one repeat, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, Set some details. Cool. And we also need to make sure that when we use that dialogue option, the patient gives us the prescription. So let's put that in here. Um, I'm overloading the image field for these for now. I will add a dedicated uh, prescription field at some point down the track to make it a little bit more obvious. But for now, this works just fine. 
So I'm doing prescription dot one. Um, the one is the identifier here of the prescription, of the prescription ID. We could have multiple prescriptions and then I could put prescription dot two, etc. All right, so now if we preview that and I do the option, I should see a prescription. Lovely. And there are different templates for the prescription. This is an Australian prescription. Um, but if we change it to a, a US scenario or US prescription, then it would give us a different looking prescription. Cool. Now we need some follow-up dialogue options for that. So, uh, just to make sure this is appropriate. Can I ask a few questions? And we'll put a dependency in here. So this depends on you having introduced yourself. So patient1.intro. So it depends on having used any of the intro, the dialogue options that were in that intro group. So this dialogue option will not appear until you use one of these dialogue options up here. All right. some feedback and again some response from the patient uh, something along the lines of sure fire away and maybe an acknowledging gesture and let's add some questions now uh, so a good one that we often ask is, uh, what did your doctor tell you about this medication? Uh, and that would depend on patient one, dialogue option three. So that was the one where we asked if we can ask questions. So we won't be able to use this dialogue option until we have asked if we can ask him some questions. Um, a good general purpose way to find out uh, what the prescription is for. And my feedback may not be the best, keeping in mind that I'm not a pharmacist, although I do work in that space. Uh, so the response from the patient here would be something along the lines of, uh, he said it would clear up my itchy rash on my arm. And he nods. Okay. And maybe another one. Did he say what type of rash it was? And that depends on patient 1.4. So on that previous dialogue option, he told us that it was a rash. So we don't have this option available to us until we know it's a rash. And he said it was eczema. Apparently it's common. Nod. Lovely. Okay, so let's um, take a little moment to just check where we're at. Um, if we preview this from the beginning. Hi, I'm the fast on duty. How can I help you? Prescription for Aristocort. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. What did your doctor tell you? He said it would clear up this itchy rash. Did he say what type of rash it was? Good, so everything's working as I expect at the moment. Um, now, usually when you're doing this, you wanna be adding in some dialogue options that explore common mistakes that the students might make. But for now, I'm just gonna go through and add in sort of like a, a perfect, quote unquote, pathway. So, let's... Uh, so let's add in a thing where, okay, I'll just get this ready for you. 
should only take a few minutes. I've made that dependent on patient 1.4, which was the what did your doctor tell you about this medication. Um, so it will become available at the same time as this did he say what type of rash it was becomes available. Um, but that seems reasonable to me. Uh, some students might skip this step. Um, okay, I'm not going to give any points for that because it's just minutia. Um, patient response, okay. And let's add some advice as well while we're here. So, something like, uh, what's some common advice for us to go to uh, apply a fingertip of the screen to the rash three time uh, up to three times a day and that sounds like good advice to me and it would depend on patient one dot given product so after you've given them the product you can give them advice about the product that's just a the way we tend to do things Okay, no problem. Acknowledging. And what's some more advice we can give? Uh, how about uh, avoid using this cream on open wounds? It may promote the growth of bacteria. So this one's reasonable advice uh, depends on patient one dot six and special responds okay that sounds gross and I'm just a bit surprised about that one okay um, and we should probably add a bad option, uh, something like, so in this case, uh, don't use this cream on your eyes. Now, yeah, you shouldn't use steroid creams on your eyes, uh, but there's no indication that this patient is likely to try and use it on their eyes, he doesn't have a rash on his eyes. Uh, and it's overburdening the patient with too much information. That isn't very relevant. Uh, let's add a response there. head nod. Cool. Alright, uh, let's think, what else can we have here? We should probably put in an option to end the scenario as well. I'm just going to tweak this as well. I've made these dependent on... Alright, I'll get this ready for you. should only take a few minutes. But I'm going to change these to given product. So that these dialog options become available. Ah. I already did it on that one. Uh, don't use this current your eyes. Given product. And let's put in... Uh, a dialogue option to end the scenario. Is there anything else I can help you with? And that would depend on nothing much. But what we'll do here is we'll make it so that there's two different responses that can happen. There's the response where the patient has been given product 
in which case it gives you feedback uh, that way to end the encounter and the patient says something like no that's everything thanks you've been very helpful what a nice patient yeah, no happy and then we can put in a second response and this one will happen if this top one doesn't happen this second one will happen so if you've given them the product this response will occur but if you haven't given them the product then I still need some medicine uh, and maybe he looks a bit surprised Cool. And in both cases, uh, no, in the first case, this will end the scenario. Lovely. And the only thing we haven't really handled here at the moment, uh, now we can't see the rest of those dialogue options because we haven't uh, saved and loaded this scenario yet. Um, but the other thing we haven't done is handled what happens when you give him the product. So we go to edit product provision for patient one here and we add a product provision response. So if you give him a rooster court then you get a point. This is appropriate and if you give uh, vaguely correct instructions apply three times a day you get appropriate instructions. Now I could probably make those instructions a bit better but you get the idea. Uh, and just to make it a little bit more interesting, we'll just check that that's working first. Yep, new prescription, rest to court, lovely. Fire away, what did you have to tell you? Yep. And we don't have any advice options yet, which feels a little bit off, but if we give him the prescription, the medication, so we can use the dispenser computer here to fetch and label the product for us, and the robot will go and get it. Saves us the walk. And he's got the product, we give it to the patient, and then we can give him some advice. Yep. Okay, and if we give him that wrong advice, you can hear the, the honky sound to show that it uh, wasn't a good option. And then we'll end the scenario. Very helpful. Excellent. Now, he just sort of stood there when we ended that scenario, which felt a bit odd. So if we edit it, and again, we can edit this directly here. And we can edit his response and make him move somewhere. So if we add a destination and send him outside after a couple of seconds delay, and then we uh, probably would want to try again. The other thing I'll do is get the voices happening. So if we click this Generate Dialogue Audio button, then it's going to go off to the Google text-to-speech service and generate uh, voice lines for all his dialogue options. And let's give that a go. Hi, my doctor gave me this new prescription. And now he's talking. You can see he's got mouth. Sure, fire it away. It tries to sort of synchronize his facial movements with the, with the sound. He said it would clear up this itchy rash on my arm. Okay. He said it was eczema. Apparently it's common. Sure is. Okay. Okay. Now if we get the aristocot. Fetch that one. Let the robot do his thing. And then... We should be able to... Scenario with a pretty decent score. Okay, no problem. Oh, okay. That sounds gross. And is there no, that's everything. Thanks. You've been very helpful. That's good. Feels a bit better. 
So I got a score of 9 out of 0, which is infinity percent, so that's obviously not quite right. But we can see all the feedback we put in there, that all looks pretty good. So let's just keep editing this scenario. We'll go to this general tab here, and for a steroid cream, we'll put in a description, we'll put in the maximum score, I think I got a 9 there. Uh, we can change the music. Uh, we can add collaborators, so if you know the username of someone and you want to work on the scenario with you, you can add them as a collaborator, and then when you upload the scenario, they will be allowed to edit it as well. Um, Alright, so that was all looking pretty good. If we want, we can add a little bit more flavour. Um, it would be typical to add options that allow the student to make mistakes, the kinds of mistakes you might expect them to make. So let's do that here by putting in an option not to dispense. Uh, I can't dispense this product. It's inappropriate. It's not appropriate. Uh, and that would depend on patient one dot. And this is going to give them a negative score. It's not true. And his response is maybe to ask why. That seems reasonable. And I can sort of drag that up to where it should be uh, around here. And then we can add another dialogue option to say something ridiculous. Um, uh, it, this cream is too strong for you. So this is on the, the high end of the spectrum for uh, steroid creams. So it is, it is plausible that a student would think, oh no, this is too strong. Uh, and yeah, it probably isn't your first option in most cases. Um, that would depend on patient 1.12 I think, or 11. 11. So, although this cream is strong, there is little chance of adverse effects with short term usage. Cool. And okay, I guess I'll go see my doctor again then. Uh, and maybe he's annoyed about that. Alright, and at a destination. So we'll send him on his way with that, and we'll also make it end the scenario. Um, so he'll go away if we do that. Let's give that a go. Hi, my doctor gave me this new prescription. Sure, fire away. He said it would clear up this itchy rap. He said it was eczema. Apparently it's common. Okay. Uh, I can't dispense this product. It's not appropriate. Why? Uh, oh, okay. Apparently I've stuffed up there. Uh, this cream is too strong for you, depends on patient 1.11. And I've just written patient.11, so that didn't work. Let's fix that. I also didn't generate the voices there, did I? So let's do that. If I do this generate dialogue audio button again, it will just go and fetch the ones it doesn't already have. Uh, let's try that again. Hi, my doctor. Sure, yep, fire away. He said it would clear up this itchy rash on my arm. He said it was eczema. Apparently it's common. Oh, okay. Why? Oh, okay. I guess I'll go see my doctor again then. Lovely. And the player gets the feedback that this is not appropriate and is prompted to try again. That's good. Um, we might also want to add a little bit of flavour by 
Um, and we could do it with event responses, or we can do it here with by adding the prescriber on the telephone. So they have the option. For that one. They have the option of calling the prescriber on the telephone. Uh, I've already said they were male, didn't I? Hello there. Is that a male voice? I can't hear. Uh, Hello there. That'll do. Okay. So we've got a telephone prescriber called Dr. Watson. And let's add some dialogue options for them. Hi, it's player name from the pharmacy. I've got some thoughts about this prescription you wrote for, uh, what was your name? Ivan. And that would depend on having seen the prescription. And the doctor will say, what can I do for you? And we'll add another one here. Um, advice. This cream is too strong. <laughs> and that would depend on telephone prescriber dot one. And let's have the prescriber add none of that. Uh, I don't really agree. Just dispense it. And that would probably make them pretty annoyed. Okay, cool. Um, so let's give this a go. Uh, hang on, let's generate their dialogue first. Okay. Hi, my doctor gave me this new prescription. Sure, fire away. And I'm gonna call the driver. Hi, what can I do for you? I don't really agree. Just dispense it. Okay. Cool. That's all looking pretty good. So hopefully that gives you a basic idea of how to write scenarios. Um, hopefully you agree that it's pretty straightforward. Um, there is a learning curve, of course. Obviously these interfaces look pretty dense. There's a lot of things you can do, but most of the things you can do, you don't need to do. Uh, they are there for specific use cases that don't crop up all the time. Um, at this point, you might want to click this upload and share button, which would upload this scenario to the server so that it becomes available to other people uh, and doesn't just exist on your computer anymore. The scenario will initially be go through a moderation step. So it'll become available immediately, but it will be marked as unmoderated and users won't see it by default until it goes through a moderation. Uh, so that would be someone like me just checking over the scenario and making sure it's uh, it's suitable and that it's a reasonable quality and not uh, horrendously offensive or anything like that. Uh, once it's gone through that moderation process, then it would become available to everyone and you'll be able to share it to your students just by giving them a, a link to the scenario or by asking them to load it up from the list of scenarios or whatever. So hopefully you agree that this is a pretty flexible and powerful and, and hopefully straightforward way of writing scenarios. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what you create in the future. All right, uh, good luck.